this video we're going to talk about chamfers and fillets at the feature level. Um, there's often times where if you want to uh, radius these guys you can actually add the radius in at the sketch level. Um, and there's also times where you may want to carve this up a little bit and wait and put in the radiuses and the fillets um, at the feature level and um, you know it's 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 really a cool feature so if we left click on fillet and select a line or an edge excuse me you can see how the fillet previews um, and based on your radius here you can tell once the once the radius disappears once your preview disappears, you've gone too far. So that's just a good rule of thumb right there. That you can't you can't put a 1.4 inch radius um, on this. But why would we want to? All right. So let's put a half inch radius on it. Um, okay. So we're going to radius this guy, this guy, you know what, all right, so let's click OK, and wow, that's looking pretty cool. Now you can see this one looks a little bit ugly because we didn't call out a, uh, a radius here, but over here we did, so you can see the differences in um, a very clean radius, a very clean radius, and one that's not so sexy. And you know, if you're if you're starting to design consumer products, it's all about looking sexy. Um, you know, and so let's um let's delete this guy, and let's talk about chamfering. Okay. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can uh, select the angle distance. You can go distance to distance, or you can select vertex. Uh, so let's go up here and for a single select, left click, um, and you can see right here, you can see how it's chamfered, and you can go into this box here. You can raise that. I like to use it over here. I don't like to bounce into this guy. I like to have the ability to change it and see it right here. Um, and you know, most of the times you're going to use somewhere around a 45 degree angle if you're just calling out uh, a machine pot to break the edges or something. But if you're doing a consumer product and you need a snap hook, you're gonna you're gonna play with different different angles. All right, this next one is a distance to distance, okay? And let's get a couple of selections up here. Um, you have a distance one and a distance two. So let me just, uh, okay, All right. that, that makes it less confusing. So in our first distance, we've, we've said we want it to be a quarter of an inch, and let's raise that to an inch. Ooh, ugly. In our second distance, we want this to be 0.25. Okay, so you can get an idea of the two distances. Okay, and over here, you know, and you can see it's much easier to dial it in because you can make a half a dozen changes by just looking at it over here. So I just want to show you you can use this. It's, it's very good in instances where you're using a setback radius, but not necessarily this uh, chamfer and fillet. All right, so you're well on your way with these two commands. Try them, and, uh, and I think you'll have a little fun. So I hope I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.